Hey, this is your Dallas Spiritual Reader. I'm here. I'm present. I exist. So, all you guys out here talking about people clout chasing, why did you push the button on YouTube? Hmm. That's one question. The other question is, why are you using your energy on people that don't even know you? That's number two. Number three is, why are we... I mean, I'm not going to say we, because I do not do tarot cards. Tarot cards are for liars, okay? And they will research or Google you, and then they will do your reading. I do not have time for that. I'm like that little white lady on the movie that see dead people and they messing with her. Mo3 connected to me because I think because I met him before. And since I'm spiritual, it's like doing the slave times when they were called fortune tellers. And this, it, there was someone in the slave land that was very intuitive. At the end of the day, Mo3, Kevin Gates, Yellow Beezy, Little Boosie, all those are entertainers. They are now in public making money off the public. So are they cloud chasing because they are looking to get your money for their music? So at the end of the day, this is what happened. Yellow Beasley was putting all this hatred and energy out here towards Mort Three, publicly, publicly, when he was shot on the tollway. He started putting information out here, straight information. Had an argument with a Raw Lee. Period. He ended up shot. And it's mighty funny, he was shot in the same leg Boosie was shot in. But Raw Lee was lost through malpractice, a medical malpractice. You don't know what's going on in Dallas unless you live in Dallas. I have an issue with Lil Boosie because my son had a situation with Lil Boosie, but he didn't know his mother was spiritually connected. Juju a hell of that. But at the end of the day, no one is looking for clout. I am not getting paid for YouTube. I am not looking to get paid from YouTube. I had people pressured me. Well, I can't say pressured. They asked me to do a YouTube channel because I have told them some shit that came true. At the end of the day, nobody's clout chasing. Nobody is clout chasing. Yes, YouTube will pay you if you get enough views so they can get the marketing. So educate yourself on business. In other people business, you have Whitney Williams, you have all these other talk shows, Steve Harvey, all these other talk shows. Are you calling them cloud chasers? No. You're relating to the energy that I am putting out. Why? Or anybody else on YouTube. Why are you relating to the energy they are putting out? Because it's something within your energy. Something you're connecting with. You may not agree. And then you want to start calling people names and clout chasing. People you don't even know. And you got some people psychologically not, com not, not equipped. 
and it's easy to find someone. Very easy. Even with your AKA. So at the end of the day, this is the issue. For Sheila Beasy, all the negative energy he putting out here in his little weenie he got that's not bigger than a banana and he don't know the word yellow is from a light-skinned Afro-American woman. That is what you call yellow. Google it. But see, I'm one of them sisters from my ancestors that didn't ask for this gift, but always had it. Now I'm reacting on it. My vibration is strong. You see Mo3. Let me tell you the difference between Mo3 and Little Beezy. You ever see Little Beezy playing with his kids? Do you ever see Little Beezy put his mom on a pedestal? Do you ever see Little Beezy honor his, like he said, baby mama put the picture out? You know he lying. He didn't even get upset about it. But anyway, because his number's going down, but I'm going to get back on track. Do you ever see Little Beezy talk about brotherhood? You better think about that. I saw him on a picture with the guy that allegedly shot Mo3. And that's a story itself with a trans man in the middle. A she, he. Big head, big feet, and big hands. That's a man. At the end of the day, don't do the little elementary stuff, calling people clout chasers and all this. Do what you do. And stop looking at you too. Because if you on anybody page, they gaining your attention. And that's marketing, darling. Not clout chasing. It's called marketing. Why it's important to be on this energy? Like Duke Farrell, myself, and everybody else? It's because Mo3 was another brother laying in the streets with someone else's clothes on because it was too big for him. Spread it out like Jesus by another brother. That's why we put the spirit and the energy out here. That boy was a father, a son, a brother, and a father of a king that's coming up. Our future. So when you go around here telling people they cloud chasing because you, he, she, whoever you are, we got careers around here. I don't think nobody's cloud chasing. We have K's in the bank. Now people donate to my YouTube, I'm blessed. Someone donated me $3,000 the other day. I read them their fortune, and now I want to see does it come true. And they thank me. I read them for free. They gave me the money, so, you know, my cash app, it was... Money sign, cash, be sky. But I do not ask for anything. If I'm blessed, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. So I'm not cloud chasing on Mo3 or anyone else that I do. Even this thing they have out here, CV19, this bullet they have out here that turns your blood black and take away your air. So when you come around here telling people they clout chasing, 
Really? No, we're being informative of really what's going on in the world. We're not trying to impress nobody. We're not trying to negotiate with nobody. We're not trying to debate nobody. I don't care to do a live. I really don't. I would not torture myself. But what I will do is put out energy for our community to do better, to do better. The Alphabet Boys in Dallas, Texas is getting ready to shut down that Bobby shop with those drugs in the back. That car shop, collision car shop in Oak Cliff with them drugs in the car, the bandit car. The hydrocodone got the doctor shot. See, the sponsoring of Rome is not right. It's little Boosie. He living his last. As a community, we're tired. We're tired of all the crack babies. We're tired of all the negative influences, even the music. See, Mo3 was going to change that. His music was like country rap. He was telling you the sad things he had been through. And then turn around and say, I got it. So when you call clout chasing, call it for yourself. Because you're using energy on me and others. And we don't even know you. So young la ladies or young men, whoever calling people to clout chasing, live by your name and not by the Conway's. You know, Conway is yellow, busy, real last night. <laughs> I can tell you some things, but I'm not right now. It's truth. See, because he can't take another book. Okay? At the end of the day, we want all our brothers to be safe. Our kings. Our queens. We don't want all this baby mama and all that. We don't want that. Our black women and black men are coming up, honey. There are judges, doctors, lawyers. Loose therics have them all. <laughs> if you know what that is, you've been there. But at the end of the day, I'm going to get off here because I have a career. <laughs> And I want to say peace, be still for everyone and try to stay safe with this government thing out here. Step away from racism and hold your head high. Live, love, and do not stop. Stand